All right, so here's the plan today. Uh, headed down to the woods. Gonna build, well, we're gonna start building at least uh, a campsite. I've always wanted one, never had one. Never once have I ever camped out in that woods. And uh, so, I got this one spot over by John's deer stand that looks pretty promising. It doesn't ever seem to flood over there. So I figure, you know, let's give it a shot and take a look at it. Um, it's high ground and uh, big trees. It's the only spot in the forest that's like that. So let's go check it out. So we made it down here, and I'm literally right on the border of the woods, the northern border. But it's such a pretty spot back here. I was thinking about right in here. And there's a lot of fucking uh, deer flies too right now, but I put bug spray on, so hopefully that'll help. But so far, no luck. Anyway, wow, they're bad. John's stand is literally right, right through these bushes over here, so I don't think he'd appreciate me putting a campground or campsite right here. So I'm gonna move down a little bit. So, you know, this gets all brushy and weedy. I don't know if I like that either. Or like that, period. I can't go... I mean, right here is the fence line, right up here. I know I'm going to need some weed killer. A shovel. A chainsaw. If I can even lift a chainsaw yet. Yeah, it's getting too brushy. Looks like that's the only spot. I just won't tell John. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's ever flooded up here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be this spot right here. It's nice and level. A little bit of a, I can put the fire pit right there. Put the tent up here, or lean to, or shelter of some kind. Um, you know, I think I do a lot of cleaning and pick up all the brush. I think it could be something nice. Definitely a pretty spot. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get carried away by these goddamn flies. Damn it. I wanted to do this today, but these bugs are killer. Well, maybe I'll come back later. Alright, well, now it's time to plant the garden. I know we're a little late, but uh, it's gotta be done. <laughs>
helped mom plant nearly the entire garden, which was about a third of an acre. And um, I mainly, she planted and I dug the um, trenches where to plant the seeds. And that was hell on my, on my left arm because of the surgery. But I made it through it, although I was being mauled by these stupid deer flies. There must have been 20 of them circling my head. I felt from, I felt like Linus from, uh, oh, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I felt, it was just terrible. They would not leave me alone. I'm hitting myself, slap myself in the face, slap myself in the, you know, in the neck and the top of the head. And then I slap myself in the shoulder right where I got the incisions and oh my goodness yeah I yelled out that was like a dog yelping and mom's like what was that I'm like oh nothing she's like I could have sworn I heard a dog yelp and I'm like nope I don't know what you're talking about it hurt though oh my god did it hurt now it's still hurting from that but um yeah I took the kids for a four wheeler ride uh, up to the trail to Fenwood and they have this little baseball diamond there and let them play for about 10 minutes but it was uh yeah it was still still a little too tender to really ride the full wheel too fast or too hard or too far for that matter so um after as he had to go potty and Jack Staper practically exploding and there's no bathrooms open in that park. We had to turn around and come right back to mom's. So now we're headed home. And I'm gonna probably, I was gonna mow the lawn, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore today with my arm feeling the way it is. So I might just have Ezzy do it. No. It's, what do you mean, no? What do you mean, what? no? Oh, your foot. Like that's gonna prevent you from mowing the lawn? No. I don't know how to. She don't know how to move. I didn't know until I was 10, so I guess it's okay. She's got one more year and then she'll be mowing and screwing it all up and making me redo it. <laughs> yeah. So, alright, catch up with you in a little bit. Alright, well, it's been a couple days, guys. Sorry I haven't kept up with this, but, um, I don't know. Things happened. Amanda and I almost broke up. Um,. But we worked it out, I think. I don't know yet. We're trying. Uh, so I video running the camcorder and making videos hasn't been a top priority right now. But anyway, I'm back out at my mom's and I'm gonna go down to the woods and I'm gonna try and spray that area with weed killer um, where I want to make that campsite. Only problem I have is <laughs> I'm scared of the bugs <laughs> really I mean they are it was it was pretty bad when I got the owner the last time and my mom literally just yelled and she's like right over there uh, weeding her floor bed and she's like don't go down there Wes don't go down you won't come back you'll be eaten alive she's like I'm getting eaten up and I'm I'm here in the yard and I'm like oh god so I've got bug spray on, that doesn't seem to really make any kind of difference. Um, I'm just going to go for it. I'll be quick, I think, I hope. I don't know. We'll find out. literally just got off the full wheel and I already got flies buzzing around my head. And, like an idiot, I came back here in shorts. And there's poison ivy all over the place. Alright, I'm going to try and get started and get finished as soon as possible here.
Really? What the fuck? Well, I'm back, and um, yeah, I was gonna. Well, I went to rinse my hands off, and I went back, and I'm thinking, okay, I'll cut down a few trees that are in the way. But then I realized everything's covered in weed killer in the area that I want to cut the trees down. So I was like, well, I guess I might as well just wait. And the bugs were getting worse; they were starting to bite. So screw it, came back, and um, yeah. That's pretty much my entire day. I had physical therapy. That went good. Um, that's about it, really. That's all I can... We didn't do much today. Physical therapy took up most of the day. Well, no, not really. I got up at about 10. Made kids breakfast. Came out to mom's. I don't know, it was John for a little bit. Um, about an hour. Then I went to physical therapy. Then I went home. Ate a little bit. Came out here. And started talking to you guys. And went down to the woods. Did the, the uh, campsite. And here we are. So. That was what my day was. <laughs> Pretty boring. But, you know. What are you going to do? We're still trying to uh, work out the whole detail, all the details on moving out here and getting rid of the mobile home and it's just a pain in the ass. It's slow going, I'll say that, very slow. And then, um, oh yeah, about the woods though. I haven't seen too many deer hitting that food plot yet, although the food plot is looking pretty nice. I will say that, they're probably about six inches high now. And, um, it's wet. Not the food plot itself. I mean, it's a little wet there, too. But going down across the creek to the campsite is really wet. So, that's another reason why I want to stay out of there. And there is a starling. Oh. That guy. I cannot get that guy. Um, but yeah, I don't want to drive too much around back there right now. I don't want to make any more ruts than we're already down there. I was thinking about building a um, food plot disc. Not the one I got, but use the one I got and take a section out of that. Then add, like, in one of those um, things that you raise a trailer up with, a jack, and um, put wheels on it of some kind. I've got a picture of it on my phone. And I think that might be a new project I might want to work on. Because then, if I have that, then I can disc the trail and make the trail nice again. So I think I'm gonna look into that. Actually I got plenty of time today. Let's see what time it is here. It is 410. So I think yeah I'll see what I got. I'll show you guys in a minute here. Alright, upon looking at this picture on my phone here, I'm thinking that I cannot build it. I mean, I could, but I don't know where to start. So you guys can see that. I think it'd be complex. Plus, I don't have the right um, discs. So 
So I don't know. I want to. I need it. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to look at my desks and see. Maybe I can come up with my own plan. We'll see.